Hello, hello. Welcome. Linda Chuan here. I head up procurement sourcing at Box, um, overseeing everything vendor related. And we have with me. Uh, hi, I'm Jag Lamba. I'm the founder and CEO of Serta. Serta is a supplier management, supplier lifecycle management system. Okay. So this is a story of how a startup, Serta, unknown startup three years ago, pitched to Box, and then this year ended up at the keynote by Aaron Levy at Boxworks. So the power of strategic relationships, right? So Linda, when we came to pitch to you, what was at stake when you, when you were sort of going through the selection process of who you would go with? Oh, just my reputation. <laughs> I've uh, been in procurement and sourcing for over, let's say, two decades or so. I was just recently hired by Box to um, head up all of its sourcing and procurement requirements and needs. And the very first thing I needed to do was to make sure that my employees at Box, we call them Boxers, Google Googlers, Box Boxers, have that one single easy UI experience and centralized for anything that they may need to onboard a supplier, to uh, do a POC with the supplier requiring or asking for uh, NDAs, contracts, renewals, and so forth, right? We all have that. The challenge was the existing environment in which the process was on did not give my stakeholders uh, visibility. We don't know where things are at. The process takes too long, and so on and so forth. And I, so therefore, I was then uh, hired to solve for those issues. And my very first large project was to streamline that process, find a solution to automate that process, and make it easier for all of my boxers experiences. And you know, obviously, you were going through the selection process. You saw some companies, some names that were much further along than us. Um, and you know, what did it take for you to take a chance on an early stage company like, Star like Serta at that time? Actually, I saw Serta's demo at a conference much like this one. There's their booth right there. <laughs> but um, as I was walking by, one of um, Jag's partners, friends, uh, the rock star. Dincho. Dincho. <laughs> said, hey, come on over and look at our supplier life cycle management solution. And that piqued my interest. If he had just said, said, look at our workflow process, look at our supplier onboarding process, I wouldn't have been interested. But he said supplier life cycle. That meant to me this company knew and understood that the supplier engagement process is more than just the onboarding piece, but it takes from the beginning to exiting and potentially terminating that supplier. And so I took a look and it piqued my interest. It was easy, easy UI, simple to maneuver. Uh, one of my requirements for the solution was that I I cannot have a requirement from the supplier to say, I need to train your people. No training, yeah? So our solution well, our, with our UIs these days, we're expected to just be able to pick up or download an app and just be able to use it. No training is necessary. And that was yeah. like, the other thing that I like too. And you know, obviously Linda was new at Box. It, it, it was a big risk for her to go with a startup at that time, right? not very well proven three years ago, not a lot of big customers. So as Linda was, we understood that Linda was putting her reputation, her reputation with her new employer at risk. So I think the, the lesson for us and what we did well is that we really leaned in and said yes to whatever you needed to gain confidence, which basically included an extensive proof of concept, after the proof of concept, there was a bake-off between the two finalists yeah. and an implementation holiday, which means no license fees if we are unable to implement and until the solution goes live, right? So I think those might seem unusual for startups here, but that's what I felt was needed to give you confidence to go with a startup. 
but that's how you build trust and the partnership. So I wasn't just looking for a supplier. I was looking for someone who will, who's willing to partner with me, who feels that my success is just as important as their success. And Jag and Serta was able to like, I gave them two weeks notice. I brought them into the RFP process after looking at 20 something other suppliers. They, I gave them two weeks. Give me two weeks, or give the, I gave you guys two weeks to customize your solution and show me what you can do for my company and my needs and my requirements. And they were able to do that. I think that after that, Obviously, everything went swimmingly, right? There were no problems at all. <laughs> well, I would have to say we have continued investments. We have date nights. I see my relationship with my suppliers like as dating, right? You can't just date and go, yes, we're going to get engaged now. After engagement, you still have to continue to have date nights and get to understand each other better. So there's some continued investment and partnership. Um, and as part of that in continued investment and partnership, I, as I grow, as Box grew, there's new requirements, new and bigger um, scope to be had. And because Jag was able to prove that they, he is a partner with me, he was also able to grow with our needs. So, so I think obviously delivering on what we committed to is absolute table stakes, right? Otherwise, we would have been fired, right? <laughs> but then I think what else does a company need to do, especially if you take a chance on an early stage company, to maintain that trust? Be agile, listen to your needs, to our needs, that your client's needs, and be able to deliver on what you think you can deliver. If you say it, that you can do it, come through. And that is the pieces and the stepping stone to a great trusting partnership. And then now, with JAG, I, every time I need something, I go to him first. Hey, what do you think? I need to be able to, to have a um, centralized intake request uh, initiative or project. Can you guys help me with that? Can you guys build that for me? And he said, of course, yes. Two weeks later, I was able to see yet another demo of what it could look like. And so that partnership is absolutely listening, being agile, deliver. Yeah. So there will be roadblocks initially, you know, you know, you have to provide, like as a CEO, you have to provide your phone number, cell phone number, et cetera, to the implementation team to make sure that happens, right? Yeah. Um, next, you know, there were Linda, you know, there are a few clients initially in a startup's journey where you would see that they're visionaries. And <laughs> I think my guidance is really lean in and learn from those clients. So one of the things that Linda, Linda was so clear about where she needed this project to go, her, the initiative to go. So we not only built it for her, but now we have a verbal commitment for a seven-figure deal for the same project with another client for the same project that we built for Linda. I mean, this is, so next guidance for startups, <laughs> really, really pay attention to the few visionaries that you'll find in your initial clients. Because uh, if some of your, dime, know you who your diamond clients are, and if they're asking for something and they're needing something, more often than not, I can bet you 80, 90% of the time, your other customers will want it too. Absolutely. And I think after like the, you know, the, so the relationship matured, we found that there was a startup initiative within Box called Box Sign. And because Box had been so good to us, we we're like, okay, well, how, do, how can we support it? So we went to Linda. And we became the first vendor partner yeah. to support Boxside. And how did that and work? That It's working out really well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jack came to me. I was like, wow, you're interested in becoming, becoming our first partner to integrate with our brand new solution called Boxside. And that was awesome. That was really, really good. Because now I was able to then introduce Jag to our partnership um, functions. And then now what's, what's happening over on that side, Jag? What are you guys doing? Developing a go to market. go to market with the box team so that we can actually jointly market box and Serta with box sign to our clients. And and you know, sort of you remember initially Linda took a chance on us, it was a career risk. With the box sign partnership, 
Were you, what, what did that, that elevated, I guess, my position even more. <laughs> we were successful in my first project, and now I have a partner in crime and go to market, um, and it's a win win for both of us. So, in addition to, you know, we being uh, in one of the <laughs> keynote slides on Boxworks, you know, that, that Aaron Levy is presenting, um, you know, we also uh, are it's likely October. to do, yeah, October, it's October, Boxworks, we'll probably do a, a joint session at Boxworks as well, yeah. Yes, so from a supplier partner to now integration and go to market, that whole journey so the far, future. yeah, it's, it's gone really, really well, because he listened, he understood where I was coming from, he saw my success just as much as his success um, and delivered on our asks. And it's working. Everything's working. Good. Really value the partnership. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Hopefully this journey was, was interesting, fun for you to learn.